Hey, so we're getting, we're going to get into chapter two, fundamentals of turbo machinery. So that's on, you know, alternative energy systems and application. Okay, so let's take a look at that. All right, so we are going to get into classifications here. Yeah? So all you have to know is very short and sweet. So we have two different, right, on uh, turbo machine functions, and one is your pump, and the other one is your turbine. So pump, you already knew what that is. It's just a device, right, and uh, these devices can move uh, fluid, okay? Fluids are like your gases and your flu uh, liquids, okay? Uh, sometimes you can also use pump to move uh, slurries, okay? Not pure liquid or not pure gases, but some... Um, mass, okay, some form of solid mass uh, combined with liquid or gases, right? And so, um, for turbine, it's a different story, okay? So that's here you can look at it, it's just a rotary device, right? Um, what you can do is you can use it to extract, right, uh, energy and from the fluid flow and then uh, this device can or machine can convert all right um that into work okay so you got the pump and then you got the turbine okay so now we're going to get into um, explanation for pumps i already told you those adjusted devices to move the fluid okay so that means like you can add energy to the fluid something that is moving meaning um it has energy okay it doesn't have any kind of extra energy it's going to just stay where uh where it is okay so in order to move something you have to add energy to it okay and pump they can be able to do that um so if you take a look at the pub we have you know like just regular pump we have fans we have blowers and we have compressors For turbine, right, explanation of it again, they're just a machine, right, road, or rotating machine. And um, you can extract the energy out of the fluid and then turn that into work. Okay, so those are called turbines. So here, uh, from this textbook, right, they're just saying, oh, these are the devices designed to extract the energy. Okay, the same thing from fluid flow, yeah. Fluid flow meaning these are just the moving fluid, and we can be able to get the energy out of it by using this machine, right? And we have gas turbine and we have steam turbine. So if you take a look at gas turbine, what's flowing inside of that machine? Gas, right? It's flowing. Gas, steam, the same thing, right? They're all just fluid. Turbo machine. So turbo machine, you're using a turbine, right, uh, in this machinery or in this system. So they're very essential to the operation, right, uh, or the industry that we're using, manufacturing. Uh, they have operations and we use the turbo machines, okay. Um, it's very general. Some businesses, they don't use it, but most of the big businesses, all right, in the industry, you're going to come into, all right different types of turbo machines. Okay, so where are we using them? So turbines, we use them in electricity production. Okay, you produce or you generate electricity and um, and that's all over the world. So in steam turbine power plants, you're going to see the turbines. Uh, gas turbine power plants, okay, you're going to see different types of turbines. Hydroelectric, power plant, you're going to see turbines, and also, of course, your wind turbines, right? Okay, so pumps, all right, so when you think about pumps, we use, we use them to transport the water, okay, and you can see them in water systems, your know, municipal water system, and also at your home, yeah? Uh, you can purchase a, some small pumps, all right, uh, domestic pumps and also commercial ones 
um, at Lowe's or Home Depot, right? Ace also, Murdoch, I think. And pumps and turbines are also essential, right? Um, in transportation, okay? So what are we transporting? Fuel, oil, and also gas, right? Around the uh, pipe networks. This is just a general definition for K turbo machine. So um, you can also write that in your own word if you want to. It's just a device that exchanges the energy with a fluid um, using continuous, right, continuously flowing fluid and rotating blades. So like this. See in this picture, yeah. So you got the idea. Again, I don't mind uh, to keep in the same word. You can't write it in your own. If you get the same, um, you know, meaning, it's all right. Okay. And here you can see the uses, right? We're not limited to just three, but so the major ones are fluid transfer, the electrical power generation, and then your aircraft, okay, propulsion. And then of course you have the subcategories and any of these are general uh, three categories. Okay, now we're gonna get into parts of your turbo machine. So when you look at the turbo machine, you're gonna see, right, uh, the parts that are made up of this system. So every machine is a system, so don't forget that. So we have a rotor and then runner, right? And this rotor and runner depends on the type of your turbine because we have different types, okay? Um, so if your turbo machine is your pump, then it depends on your impeller, okay? And this is just a part, right, of that turbo machine to uh, uh, to work, right, with the fluid. Yeah. Uh, here is just a writing formally that operates in the working fluid. But you can just take it like, oh yeah, I use that part, right, uh, to move the fluid. So you got the rotating machine, and you got your fluid in motion. Okay. So by rotating this machine we are moving uh, your fluid, okay? So that's what's showing here. So the energy transfer is from this machine rotation, which is your rotational energy. And then the energy is gonna be transferred into your fluid, okay? Kinetic energy, which is your movement right, of the fluid. So you know the energy transfer, you know your device, okay? You have your rotor, you have your runner. For pumps, your impeller, okay? and you're gonna move the fluid. So by running this machine, you're transferring the energy, all right, from rotation to kinetic energy, which is the uh, mobility of that fluid, okay? Or you can call it motion, yeah? Okay, so another part of the turbo machine is your stationary element. Don't worry about the term element, it's just a part, okay, stationary part. So what it does is, um, it just okay on um, function as a as a mechanism to control. So what are we controlling? So we control the direction and then the flow, okay, uh, of the fluid that we're trying to move. Yeah. So we are moving the fluid, right? By using okay, uh, by using the rotating okay energy uh, in this Atawa machine. And we're going to control that all right, flow in a direction of that flow by using the stationary okay, part of uh, this turbo machine. So you got, you got two parts, okay, now, and you know what they're doing. It's all about moving the fluid. You can just move the fluid whatever direction. You have to move it in a particular all right, controlled direction. And this function is done by stationary element, okay? part of that turbo machine, yeah? So as you control the direction and the flow, we are also controlling the energy conversion, okay? Mechanical energy into the kinetic energy. So this is just telling you, uh, sometimes you're gonna have a guide veins, right? That's just a, a word. And uh, you can call that blades, or also you can call that nozzles, all right? So these are just the parts, all right, to control this direction and flow of your fluid. 
Then the third part is called your input, okay, or output, shift. So it depends on what the shift is doing, okay, rather doing the input or doing this output. So depending on whether the turbo machine is a power generating machine or a power consuming machine, okay, this is using, that's producing power, yeah. Uh, you're going to have either output, okay, output is for generating, and then input, so input is for consuming. So um, if that turbo machine, okay, this is supposed to be like combined, right? You can also put a dash in it, it's the same thing. It's a power transmitting machine that is going to have an input and also output shift, okay? So we got or um, all of that on combination, output, input, input, and output. So where we're using, you can pay attention, all right? Power generating, power consuming. Another thing is power transmitting, okay, machine. So this is two-way. Right, the fourth part is your housing. Housing is nothing but just case, all right, casing. So uh, what is it? A covering and you use in this on top of machine. So what is it doing? It allows, all right, uh, to function without splashing that um, fluid. Since you're flowing the fluid and you're flowing it in the, you know, uh, a particular direction and controlling that flow, you can also, all right, uh, use this housing, which is your cover, okay, um, to prevent splashing from that moving fluid. So we don't want the splashing uh, because you don't want to mess up with your surroundings or environment. Okay. And this covering or casing, okay, um, what it does, it also provides a definite space, right, for the fluid to work. Of course, it is just a cover, so definitely not an essential part, right? Uh, of this towel machine. You can go messy <laughs> with splashing and everything, but it would be nice to have a cover, yeah, cleaner. Your system uh, can run uh, without a mess. This is just a reiteration, emphasizing, okay, if your machine, your towel machine is extracting the energy, yeah, from the fluid, then we're going to call it a turbine, yeah. Okay, next one in classification. So if your device, all right, is going to deliver the energy to the fluid, then we're going to call it a compressor. So right here, a fan, a blower, okay, or a pump. And of course, all right, it depends on the fluid use. So what type of fluid is in there? Are different types of fluids, all right. And also the magnitude, right, of the change in that pressure that results. So pressure is nothing but, don't forget, a force, right? Uh, I'm going to write that out for you. So never forget your pressure. This is your physics. Pressure is equal to force, okay, over a particular area, yeah? Since you know that um, your fluid is flowing, most likely it will be flowing in pipes, yeah? So therefore it's circular, suckle, all right, um, cylindrical. So these are the shapes that you have to understand uh, where your fluid is flowing, okay? Um, so when you think about that, with that flow, right, with that movement of that flow, um, that comes with your pressure, you yeah? know? So how strong the fluid is hitting the area, right? Uh, as it flows, okay? Because the fluid cannot flow in the space as is so, yeah? It's got to flow in a uh, container of some sort, yeah? Structure of some sort. So, therefore, the structure always comes with the surface areas, and you are flowing fluid, all right, uh, in that structure. So, therefore, you always have force over that area, okay? So, therefore, you have pressure in the system, yeah? So going back, if the device delivers the energy to the fluid, we're going to call it a compressor, fan, blower, or pump, depending on that fluid used and also the magnitude, okay, how big of that pressure is, yeah, that results from that uh, fluid motion. 
because when we say motion, so I'm going to write another one. This is your force, okay? Force, so this is a review for your physics again. It's MA, yeah? Here is your mass right there. So M and then acceleration is your A, okay? So this is right here, okay? So that's why we call it the magnitude of the change in the pressure that results, yeah? So examples, examples, and examples. And you have aircraft engines, your windmill, your water wheels, your ship propeller, your hydraulic, and also gas turbines, your pump, and then your compressor. Yeah. Okay, so continue with classification. So we have three different turbo machines, right? Depends on uh, the structure. So we have radial, and we have axial, and then we have mixed, all right, device. So radius is nothing but your machine is all right, um, designed around okay, a central axis. Okay, axial is nothing but all right, your machine is designed all right, um, along the axis, right? So it's a uh, um, different thing. So make sure you uh, get what's radial and what's axial, right? Sometimes you, it's um, confusing. This is axis. Is uh, this is around the central axis? Okay, central is essential for radial. Um, subtle, but try to get that difference. And the mix is a combined, of course. You know, if you use both of them, it's a mixed. Okay, so in radial device, right? The path again. This is so important because you're moving the fluid in a particular direction. So there is a path, right? So therefore, in radial device, the path of that fluid is going in radial direction, okay, around the central axis. Here, we're going to repeat it, okay, emphasize it again. So here in your radial flow machine, your fluid is again, all right, moving. So this means that it has a significant velocity. Velocity means something is moving. So you already know it is moving, all right, um, so therefore, you have some form of velocity. Velocity is speed, okay, uh, with a mass. So when a little mass is moving uh, with a velocity. Um, and for radial direction, again, is going around the axis of that machine, yeah? So here, you can take a look at the diagram for your radial flow, and this is a fan, okay? Oh, here we go, this is a fan. How is that trying to understand? And here, this is your just housing to protect that flow, yeah? Uh, and this is your rotor, okay, your part of the turbo machine. And then this is where it's going to go out, yeah. And you can be able to see this little line right there, okay. So that's the axis, all right, of that machine, okay. And the flow, here we go, is going around the center, okay, axis, yeah. It'll be a little bit difficult for you to, to uh, see. So just go slow and then take it in little by little. And then take it in again and again, repeat it, so you can retain the information in your head. Here is another diagram, and this is just showing you, all right, an example of your radio flow. So you can see it's just a centrifugal pump center. You're yeah, going around in the center, and you are using uh, some form of here is an impeller, yeah. So it's a pump, yeah. So you have your discharge right out there. Your casing, your housing is right here, yeah. Uh, this is your flow, right, in flow. This is just a hub, right, and that's your plate. It's, you know, like it's rotating, of course, in 2D. It's a little bit difficult to see, yeah? And your radial flow is going on along that axis, yeah? In the central axis. Okay, so axial device. So if you don't know, you just say, like, the path of the fluid is in the, here is your name, the axial direction, okay, along the axis, yeah? Okay, so let's move on to the diagram so here you can see the diagram so this is showing you the axial flow fan so you can see right here going in this direction here is your rotor yeah so you understand it is not road okay going around the center okay it's going all right along the axis right this is a little bit difficult so that's your metrology drawing right uh, make sure you know how to look at the diagram when we draw this precision drawing right here. Okay, it's a little bit different. Yeah, so 
let's go to the text right here for this uh, uh, presentation. So here you can see your axial device, right? Uh, it's a propeller type, right, turbine. And uh, you're dealing with the axial flow, right, right in there. And the flow enters, right, and then leaves, okay? So here is your inlet, and then this is your outlet. So that's what was telling you that, okay? So the flow both enters and then leads. So both meaning like it is happening at the same time, right? The rotor with axial, right? Velocity, but a little radial velocity, meaning like you have a major, okay, flow along the axis, right? Um, and uh, meaning like the flow is stronger around the axis direction, okay? Than the central axis direction. So it's a little bit different. Okay, so here is a nice example of your axial flow. Um, you can see, uh, you know, like this is actually better for you to be able to see it. So see that flow is going in this direction, okay? And this is your axis right here, you know? The rotation, this machine is rotating this way, okay? So therefore the flow is along the axis, you yeah? know? So we call it the axial flow. Here you can see it, but then I would draw right a flow right here like that, so you know how the inlet, okay, and then the outlet direction that way, yeah. So, and they're just the terms, right, explaining this uh, turbo machine. So you have a stator, okay, and then you have a nose cone, but it looks like a little cone right there, and then your casing is your housing, okay, your shaft is your other part of this uh, turbo machine, okay? Again, another casing, your rotor is right here, okay? This is where most of the energy transfer is going on, you know, from the mechanical energy into um, kinetic energy of the fluid flowing, okay, along that uh, axial flow. And then this is just color here. All right, the third one. So the third one is just a mixed device. Mixed. So therefore, you're going to see radial and also axial components, right? Meaning like this machine can be able to do, all right, radial flow and axial flow. Okay, so here is another diagram. Then we have a mixed flow, okay? Oh, you can see that. So in mixed device, so we have the flow, and the flow is going to enter the rotor, okay, with both radial and also your axial component. Uh, this is just a former term of saying radial flow and axial flow. So you can see here radial, and then your axial flow going in this direction, okay. A little bit difficult to see because there is a subtle, right, uh, difference. I would say like radius going like this around the central axis like that circle, and then axial is going along this line, so you can be able to see that. Okay, so just go uh, with the arrow, radial, okay, axial, yeah. So that's easier to see. Don't don't worry about this too. This can confuse you. Just go like radial and then axial. Component of velocity, that's just a formal word telling you uh, how the fluid is flowing in this turbo machine, yeah? Okay, so this is just a video, all right? And here is the link. So your PowerPoint, you can just click on that link and then you can watch, all right? Uh, close a look for your turbo machine. Right. This is a very good video, so make sure you visit that, right, uh, this link, and then watch it. I'm not going to put the entire video here for you, okay? Um, just um, telling you that don't forget to watch this one, yeah? So you can be able to see, yes, the toggle machine. All right, that's it for this chapter.